Hey everybody, this is Brent Arnold, and today I want to show you how to set up your uh, certificate, signing certificate, and get things set up in the iOS provisioning portal so that you can start developing apps on the Mac using Xcode as well as using Flash CS 5.5 and Flash Builder 4.5. So all these things kind of relate to each other. You need to have a developer certificate and you need a provisioning profile in order to test on your device. So here I am. Uh, this assumes that you have purchased the iOS developer license and you have a login. Uh, go over and choose iOS provisioning portal. Now over here you should see certificates, devices, app IDs, provisioning. Now depending on your type of account, if you didn't purchase the account yourself and you're a member of another account, you want to make sure that you're set up as an admin in order to do things like provisioning profiles. Otherwise, it won't work. You'll find that you won't have access to it. But if you've purchased the $99 per year developer account, you should be able to access everything. All right, let's go ahead and choose certificates. And the first thing we need to do is request a certificate. Now, this has a lot of instructions. But since you're watching this video, I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to click away to the finder and I want to go to utilities. And inside of utilities, I want to click keychain access. So go ahead and double click open that. At this point, you want to choose keychain access and then certificate assistant and then request a certificate from a certificate authority. Go ahead and click that. At this point, you'll enter your email address. You'll want to put a a name to represent the certificate and then you want to choose saved to disk and make sure it says save to disk and go ahead and click continue at this point you want to save it somewhere on your computer and then it's going to create the certificate request and we'll click done now we'll go over here back to Safari and at this point we want to choose file and we want to select that certificate signing request. Go ahead and choose. And that will be uploaded. And at this point, we want to choose Submit. Once it's been submitted, it'll bring you back to the certificates list and it'll say Pending Issuance. Now, if you are the owner of the account, then you can go ahead and just kind of refresh the browser page and it'll show up. Now, if you are not the owner of the account and you're an admin or a member and someone's setting it up for you, they have to approve it for you and they'll get an email and stuff like that. At this point, we've got our certificate and let's go ahead and click download. And now uh, go ahead and just double click that file and it automatically opens it within Keychain Access and notice we have the iPhone developer and then it says the name that you gave it. All right, very good. Now, it says if you do not have the WWDR intermediate certificate installed, click here to download. Uh, if you've never used it, you might as well click and download it, open and install it the same way that we did the first certificate. All you do is you double click on it. All right, so that's how we get the certificate set up. There you go.